Hello, good morning, everybody. Uh, we are still on page 15 in the textbook, so let's continue. We'll move now. We're done with the sound waves. As I mentioned before, sound waves is type of mechanical wave until the category of longitudinal waves, all right? Now, water waves. What is water waves? Water waves is friction between the wind at sea and the water forms water waves, meaning... Water waves is created by the wind. So the source of energy is wind. If there is no wind, there will be no water waves. All right? No wind, no water waves. And the waves uh, move toward the land always. All right? In this direction. It moves always in this direction. And since <clears throat> uh, water waves uh, move only through matter, the matter here is the water. All right? So it's considered to be mechanical wave. If you look at this diagram on page 15, or on this picture on page 15, you see, that, you see that the path of the water particles move in a circular manner, all right? In a circular manner, it moves circles, which created the wave up. So inside the ocean, it moves in a circular manner, circle, 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 until it go up, then it will look like this. So, why it moves in a circular pan, uh, manner? There is an explanation why. Here is the explanation. The explanation is in the green color, all right? So please highlight it. Move in a circles because it's a combination of transverse and longitudinal waves. What's, what does it mean? It's a combination of both types of mechanical waves. Transverse is when the waves move in a perpendicular uh, pattern, up and down, right? Remember, crest, up, throw, down. Longitudinal waves, when the waves move in a parallel manner, meaning with the direction of energy and with the direction of the wave. Since it's a combination of both, meaning water particles will move forward and backward, that's longitudinal, it also will move up and down, that's transverse. This is will result in a circular path that gets smaller and smaller, of course, when you reach or when the wave approach the land. Uh, this is a more detailed explanation. It's not in your textbook, all right? Water waves such as ocean waves are combination, as I said earlier, between transverse wave and longitudinal waves. The ocean is never still. Have you seen ever an ocean like still not moving at all? No. This is because it's always rolling due to the wind, all right? Because of the wind. They are created by the wind blowing over the surface. Some waves travel thousands of kilometers before reaching the land. Waves are example of extremely large ocean wave, which is rock wave, all right? They are often created when Several smaller waves come together to form one enormous one, which is um, if you if you know the sport surfing, they wait usually when you want to surf or if if you have if you if you see it before in the movies, on the TV shows, etc. You see that the surfer wait uh, a bit inside water on a surfing board until he see or she see, sees a large wave to ride it. All right. So large waves called ro, all right, or roach, all right. So it's a big wave, and it's a combination of uh, many, 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 many small waves, and it created a big, enormous one, which which surfaces loss. So because it's twice tall as a normal one, and can sink large ships, so it's dangerous, even for surfers. Even surf surfing is very dangerous sport. However, you have to know that tsunami waves is different than normal waves. Tsunami waves, the source of energy, it's the earthquake inside the ocean or inside the sea. So it's a seismic, seismic activity, not the wind. So the wind has nothing to do with tsunami, okay? The wind's only responsible for normal waves. Tsunami is a natural disaster that happens sometimes in some regions of the earth. It's because of earthquakes all right inside the ocean 
caused this enormous explosion of energy that created big, big, huge waves and caused the sea or the ocean to start to cover land, which is considered to be a natural disaster. All right. I want you all to write this question inside your textbook on the same page, page 15. How does wind impact water waves? All right. So this is a question. The model answer will be, Wind creates water waves by pushing on the surface of the water. So the wind keep pushing on the surface of the water. That cause the water to move in a circular pattern, all right, which created the water waves. Again, the circular pattern is a combination of both transverse waves and longitudinal waves, all right? It's not only one type. It's two types of waves at once which caused the water waves, all right? And again, water waves, it's a mechanical wave. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good day, everybody.